Hi guys, welcome to the next video. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to paint power swords uh, using this Death Watch Veteran. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to paint Macrag Blue. Uh, water this down quite a bit so that you get a nice smooth finish. Uh, starting at the bottom, we're going to work our way up the sword like this. Um, this one doesn't matter too much, this is purely a base coat so that you know we're not going to have any of that black showing through at the end. Um, this is quite a, a deep colour of uh, blue but perfect for being that base tone. Uh, make sure to work it into all of the recesses on your sword so that you're not having any of the black showing up later. We're going to shade this in a bit so that you can get a bit of definition on there. Yeah. Just like that. So, and I have it, we have the base tone for the sword there. Next we're going to use uh, Calador Sky, uh, which is a sort of next step up to um, create a sort of a slightly lighter colour um, over this and just making sure you've got a very small amount of, of paint on your brush, quite again watered down quite heavily um, so that this just sort of drags up from here so you want this to not be too overpowering at the, ba at, the, at the connection between the two as you can see here you want it to be quite subtle um, of, a, of a blend so you don't want the, the paint to be too strong there so you know use different techniques like stippling and, 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 and dry brushing sometimes if, you're, if your edge is looking a bit too um, uniform you want a a nice sort of fade. So in this next bit I'm going to do the stippling um, to try and smooth the transition so I've, I've um, mixed a, a sort of one-to-one -one, uh, blend of the, the two colours, Calador Sky and the Crag Blue and I'm just going to sort of go up to the very edge and, and, and sort of stipple um, hopefully you can see this, stipple uh, the sort of edge like that so that it's not uniform so next up we have a, a again a lighter blue, uh, this one's techless blue uh, and this one's going to be applied even higher up the model now so you know, really emphasising the sort of the, the tip of the sword and, 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 and getting down so that there's a good amount here Again, stippling and, and dry brushing to create a natural line, sort of natural faded line upwards. So the next step is to take a one-to-one -one mix of Tetris uh, Blue and Calador Sky and do the same as what we did to blend the first two layers together, going through and sort of stippling uh, in between here and, and hopefully the colour between being a mix of the two will create a nice blend between them so with that layer done uh, we're now going to be doing uh, the shade which is going to be Drakenhof Nightshade uh, this is going to be applied with a artificer layer brush a small, oh, an extra small one and I'm going to try and just get it into, if I bring that closer, into all the cr little crevices that are on the sword. Now, be very, very careful with this. Trying to make sure that it only goes in those recesses. We don't want it anywhere on the flat surfaces. Next up we're going to apply a very, very fine very watered down uh, highlight of Temple Guard Blue. Uh, this is only going to be to the very extreme, like, well not the extreme, uh, but the, the, the sort of raised edges along mainly the top of the blade 
picking out some uh, some details, making it look just that bit sharper. Just going to edge highlight along here, nice thin layer of this. Take it all the way down to about there, about halfway down. And then on here as well. So really give the sword some definition. And for the final part of this, we're going to put a very, very thin watered down layer of Ulf Van Grey. And this is going to be ex uh, applied to the most extreme parts of, this, of the, the sword, at the very, very tip up here. Just on the very tip, like that. So that's the finished power sword then, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I hope you found it useful and uh, if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button, if you're new uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, and also en uh, enable notifications so you can see as to when my new videos come out. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram uh, the link will be down in the description. Uh, and Thank you for watching, yet again uh, you guys have been incredible, so happy wargaming and be safe.